Did you know that there's an unspoken language that God understands? It's the language of tears. There's been times in my life when I was so distraught, when I was so confused, when I was so burdened by the things that were around me, the things that were going on in my life, that I had no words to say. I would literally hit my knees and the only thing that would come out would be tears from my eyes. But God understood every tear. In Romans 8 and verse 26, it tells us there'll be times when we won't know what to say. We won't have any words, but the Spirit will make intercession with groanings that only God can understand and tears that God understands. In Psalms 84 verses 5 and verse 6, it says, Blessed is the man whose strength is in the Lord. And then it goes on to say, who passing through the valley of Baca make it a well, and the rains also fill the pool. This place, Baca, when you look it up, the word actually means weeping. There's times that our weeping, we weep so much over the things that are around us, that it actually becomes a pool, but God understands every tear that falls from that eye. Also, you notice that it says that we're passing through the valley of Baca. We're not going to stay there. Stay there. This is just a season in your life, a time when really the only language is tears. But again, God understands those tears. So I want to tell you, if you're a saint, or even if you're a sinner crying out to God, and the only thing that you can get out are tears, let them flow. Because God understands, and He will answer and touch you in your heart. You know, I was thinking about my kids even though they're grown now and even when they were young. If I see a tear in their eye, it affects me. I want to know what's wrong with my child. Why is this tear in their eyes? Them hurting affects me. It affects my heart. And that's the same way with God. God is not some tyrant sitting up there just waiting for you to mess up so he can just hit you with a big stick or something like that. He's our heavenly father and he loves us. He just wants you to cry out to him. Just keep crying out to him and the Lord will bring you through. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please share it. Please like it. And God bless for now.